floss tube. Please excuse the background. I am in the middle of packing my house because I'm moving in just under over a week. Um, so yeah, there's kind of stuff everywhere. So I apologize for that. But I wanted to pop on and do a second floss tube episode mainly because I need to pack everything. And if I pack it, I won't be able to talk to you guys about it. Um, so yeah, that's the timing of this video. It's mainly because I've got lots of things I'd like to show you. Um, once I've shown you them, I can pack them, and then once I get to the new house, which will be Thursday next week, not this one coming, the one after, um, and once we get settled, hopefully there'll be some time to cross-stitch in between. Um, <laughs> I haven't had a lot of time to cross-stitch recently. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll have a few new things to show you as well, because I realised some of the things I ordered that I was going to show you in this video have gone to the new house, so I haven't got as much as I was hoping to have but I've still got bits and pieces to show you. So the first thing I want to say is thank you so, so much to so many of you that subscribed to my channel following the last Floss Tube video. I am absolutely overwhelmed by just how lovely you have all been. Thank you so much for your lovely comments, for your advice, just for being here. It really does mean a lot to me and I am very, very grateful. So thank you so, so much. I would shout out to some of you, but there's so many names. I can't remember you all and I don't want to miss people. So. One big shout out to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. So I guess that leads me on to, let me see, where do we start? Where did we start last time? I can't remember. <laughs> um, probably finishes. I have three finishes to show you. Now two of these are old finishes because I wanted to show them in the last video, but they were in my bedroom. So I actually managed to use my brain today and went and got them before I started this. I did take some of the wallpaper, not wallpaper, paint off my wall, taking one of them down because the paint on the walls in my house, the second you touch it, it falls off the wall. Not very helpful. Kind of spoiled my project a little bit, but I can replace the ribbon, so it's fine. So I'll start with that one. This is the first finish I have to show you. I made this one a little while ago. This is my curled up mama and baby fox cub. There's quite a lot of colour changes in this one and there's some unusual kind of backstitch because there's white backstitch as well as red backstitch and black backstitch. For those of you that don't know, I absolutely hate backstitch. So this product is actually kind of a bit of a personal achievement for me. Um, I backed it on felt because <laughs> Clever Clogs managed to drop it and spilt coffee on the corner of her Aida. So all I've done is just trimmed the actual uh, design and used, what did I use to stick this? I can't remember, I think I just used like regular glue um, to stick it to the felt and then this mount actually came with the kit, it's a plastic circular mount. I've just trimmed the edges, um, you can obviously with normal fabric stitch across the back to make your edges tidy, I've yet to do that, I don't really know how to do it, so if anybody's got any tips for framing in hoops, in the comments below please people, because it would really help me out, I'm not very good at framing stuff. And then I just added this gold ribbon um, as you can see on the back my wall didn't approve so I'm going to have to replace this but I've got some more of it somewhere um, I actually did this ooh, a few months ago now but I love this design I think it's really cute it came from cross stitch crazy magazine I'm really sorry I can't remember the designer's name I haven't got the details but I wanted to show you that one because I'm really proud of it and I think it's lush I hope you like it too so that's finish number one. Then we have finish number two. This is a mouse loft mini kit, again in a hoop. This is just a little camper van. I actually won this design in a competition. I love this. I think it's really, really cute. Um, one of my things in life is that I like to travel. I'd love to own one of these camper vans. So this is from Mouse Loft. They're not very expensive. I think they're probably under a fiver um, for the kits. The hoop I got on so soandso.co.uk I think it is or so crafty it's one of the two it's either so crafty or so and so um and again I've trimmed the edges because I cheat <laughs> because the fabric literally was only just big enough for me to stretch it into this hoop and it's actually you can see it's bulged here because there's actually so little Aida that came in the kit I couldn't fit it in the hoop properly so it's just in there but I still think it's very effective you could obviously do this pattern in lots of different colours for cards for your friends or just to decorate your wall with. Um, I love this design, it didn't take very long at all and I think it's really effective so that normally hangs on my bedroom door. And then my most recent finish, it's not mounted, um, I can't believe I'm saying this, 
I started this kit in August, it's obviously now September, but it is the first Christmas one on here. This is my little Christmas pooch um, with his Santa hat. There is, I don't know if you can see it, there's glitter thread in the white trim and the white bubble. Glitter thread is a pain. Trying to separate the strands to use in the first place is a nightmare and then it has a tendency to ruck up when you're stitching with it. I found it really fiddly but I love the effect and you can't really see it on the camera I don't think but there is glitter in there. I hope you can see it. So this little guy is going to go in this card so I'll show you what it will look like when I have mounted it because I haven't got around to it yet because eh, I packed my stuff for mounting things. So I don't actually have sort of the uh, edging stuff I would need to put this together. So please keep in mind that I'm holding this together and it's not the finished item. But when it's done, it will look something along the lines of this, which I think is really quite cute. So it's just a little doggy with a letter to Santa and his little stocking. I love this. It was a uh, free gift from Cross Stitch Crazy really like this card just think it's mega cute and i have pen friends that live in different countries so i'm starting early with <laughs> getting their christmas things together because one of them's in australia um and trying to sort out little gifts that you can send that don't cost a fortune in the post so those are my finishes for this episode i've got two work in progresses to show you and then some other bits and pieces so you have seen one of these before you will remember, hopefully, if you've seen my previous floss tube video, my, sorry, random noises coming from outside. We've got building works next door and I'm forever hearing weird things. So if you hear weird crashes and bangs, I'm really sorry. It's the next door. So where was I? Um, you can also hear my guinea pig running around. <laughs> I just noticed he's scampering about now as well. Ugh. Every time I try and film, I get random noises. So I'm really sorry about the random noises in the background. Anyway, as I was saying, my current work in progress is, um, as I mentioned on my previous video, my roses sampler for my mum. Mum, if you are watching this, turn it off now because you don't want to see this. <laughs> um, just in case. She doesn't normally watch my videos, but just in case. Um, so this is where we've got to. Last time you saw this, I don't think I'd really started much of this rose flower. This is taking me forever, just to give you a slightly closer view. It's got a lot of colour changes in it. Um, it's very fiddly, but I'm actually really loving it. Um, so I'm quite happy with how this is going. So we've got the whole, of the rose flower is nearly finished. It's got a little bit more to do. Then you have like another big garland of roses up the top. There's a basket of roses that comes down this side and a border and various bits and pieces to do. So this is my labour of love. It's going to be my mum's Christmas present. So mum, I really hope you're not watching this because you've just seen your Christmas present if you are. Fingers crossed she's not. <laughs> so that's my current sort of main project. Um, I did show you last time. I'm going to grab it actually. I wasn't going to show you this again because I haven't done anything to it since you saw it last. But we do still have this beauty lurking about. Um, this is, I was going to tell you that the white moon is actually stitched in glow-in-the-dark thread, as are the eyes of the owl, and it actually works. I'm so impressed. I just actually need to finish it, because basically, you can see the design is finished. I'm only halfway through the back stitch, and it's a pig, because I can't see it. Trying to edge black with black. Why did I choose this design? Why didn't I just leave the back stitch off? But no, I'm halfway through. So at some point, I'm just looking at it to see how much more I've got to do, quite a bit. I will finish this. You will see it finished and hopefully framed at some point. The idea for this is for it to go in a hoop. Obviously, there's quite a lot of fabric. So any tips as to how I frame this without like making a mess would be great. Um, so that's one of my other working purposes. And my other one, it's only little. This is for one of my pen friends. She doesn't know I'm on YouTube, so there's no danger of her seeing this, um, which is good. Um, so this is just a little mouse loft again kit. I love these. I Like I say, I won them in the competition, but I do think they're great for like cards or little presents. So this is the design. It's called Colourful Feathers. It's by Mouse Loft, as you can see. I just think this is really pretty. I love the kind of rainbow effect of the feathers. So it doesn't look like much at the moment because I've only just started one of the feathers, but this is what I've got so far. Um, the colours don't come out very well on camera, but it's purples and pinks at the moment. 
looks better in person but that's where I've got to so far with that one that's my little work in process progress process process progress progress at the moment so those, that's my my two current projects of the of the feathers and the rose I will get back to the Halloween owl in the tree with the moon at some point <laughs> and then I've got a couple of other little things to show you these are future projects so things I'm going to be doing in the near future I have been looking for this project for ages I knew I had it somewhere this was a free gift again from cross stitch crazy magazine I'm promoting them quite a lot I think they should sponsor my videos um <laughs> cross stitch crazy if you're watching you know I love your magazine I think you're awesome and I've been a subscriber for years so thank you for an awesome magazine so this is the design it's obviously a Merry Christmas design. It's in a hoop. I just think it's really cute. I love the colours. And I was coming across, looking for something to stitch for me that was small. I do a lot of stitching for other people. Most of my stitches go away and I wanted something to decorate my house at Christmas because I don't actually have any cross-stitch Christmas stuff of my own. Everything I've made has gone to other people because I not make cards and things. So I love this. I also received... I've packed it so I can't show you, but... um. A Christmas sampler design which I love which hopefully I'll show you on the next video so this is going to be my little project for our house our new house for Christmas um, looking forward to starting that it shouldn't take too long I'm just seeing if it says on here who this is by but it doesn't really sorry guys um, and then last but not least I couldn't resist I've been watching a lot of other floss tubers a lot of them show Halloween designs. Most of them are in America, so these designs are a lot easier to get than here in the UK. For those of you that are from the States that watch my channel, firstly, hello and thank you for being here. But also, I'm very jealous because you guys celebrate Halloween the way I wish we did over here. <laughs> um, there's not a big thing for Halloween, really, over here. People don't tend to decorate. I decorate my house every year. I've done it for years. I think this comes from being a goth and being a bit different and liking bats and witches and spooky stuff. Um, so any excuse to get the fairy lights and the pumpkins out, I'm there. So this I could not resist. This is from Bodhi Threads. Um, it's called Enchanted Pumpkin House. How gorgeous is this? Yes, it's black again. I don't know if this has got backstitch involved in it. I haven't actually taken it out yet. I really hope it doesn't have backstitching all the way around it or I'm going to be there forever. But just to show you the back, how gorgeous is that fabric? This is the actual fabric that I'll be stitching on and it's just beautiful colour. I mean, I don't even like the colour orange particularly, but for Halloween, obviously, it's just lovely. And I think it's so different. I actually was really lucky and I won this on eBay, so it didn't cost me the original price. So thank you so much to the lady on eBay that was selling it. I love this. It's got all the like silver thread, which again is a pig, but it looks so effective. It's worth the struggle. Um, it's got little gold not gold, little silver stars that go on this design. I just think it's going to be so cute. And just to point it out, I love the fact we've got a skeleton down here. We've got some cats, obviously the witch, pumpkin and trellis work, bats at the top. It's, it's everything I love, basically. So I'm really looking forward to starting this. It's not going to be ready in time for Halloween this year. <laughs> Absolutely not going to happen. I might start it by Halloween this year. I'm not a very fast stitcher. Um, I actually, although I've been stitching since I was about 17, 18, I have yet to complete a big project. Um, I've done lots of little ones. I've somewhere, in the ethos of time, got um, a piece that I started. It's a Winnie the Pooh and Piglet design. It's gorgeous. But I'm about halfway through it and I've made a mistake somewhere and the chart's wonky and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> At some point one day I will finish it. But I started that when I was 18 and it's still not finished. Need to, this is why the Roses Sampler, hopefully, is going to be my first reasonable sized finish. So I've stitched on and off for years, but I've got much more into it over the last, I'd say, probably two years. I, for those of you that don't know, I have some health problems. I have hypermobility syndrome, which affects my joints and sometimes means that I can't walk properly or that I'm in a lot of pain. Um, they also think that there might be other things going on, so we're not too sure where that's going at the moment. But... I do work full time as well, um, <laughs> but um, when I was off sick from work last year, I really got back into stitching. I find it really therapeutic and also it's wonderful for mental health. Um, for those of you that don't know, again, I'm a mental health nurse. Um, I'm currently, well, I've just finished working with the crisis team in Dorset. I'm going to be moving into older person's mental health. 
um, but I have mental health problems myself, that's how I got into the interest with it, um, why I do what I do, because I think mental health nurses are amazing, I'm not just blowing my own trumpet, that's every other one I've ever worked with, they do an awesome job and it isn't easy. So for me it's just like to give something back, but I find to manage my own mental health, stitching is just awesome because you can just sit quietly, you don't have to engage with anyone else if you don't want to, you can just sit with a nice cup of tea or a cup of coffee, whatever you like, um, not too near your stitching though, and just sit and have your own time and space to do something you enjoy, and for me that's really relaxing, it's a good quiet time for someone who's got a very busy brain. So I can't promote stitching enough, I absolutely love it, and I didn't mean to go off on a tangent there, but it just gives you a bit of an insight as to why I'm so into cross stitch. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, um, and that you come back for more. If you've got any tips or comments or suggestions for things you'd like to see, um, with regards to my floss tube videos, um, that would be great. Um, I hope that you like the content so far. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a really great day and a lovely stitchy weekend. Bye for now.